farm first time for ages for me anyway I do normally get off the farm a few times a week but i haven't been out for well i've got cabin fever let's say that uh, and we've got some flood water so we brought the yuck yaw down and toon's already had three lifts probably got about 30 fish already mostly small ones uh, but there's there's a species of fish called basoi that we want for the lake so we're trying to keep them separate and keep them alive uh, and the rest are going to go to the alligator gar and snakehead so yes going well <laughs> weird aren't they so weird do not cause a mirror fish you can see through them they've come upstream about one kilometer and we found a nice little area here looks a lot easier to to put the net in without getting snagged up all the time Let's try again. You're all set up in the blink of an eye, ready for action. We have fished this area with the bamboo poles before and worms and stuff like that and caught some green river catfish. Gonna keep on changing the water for our, the soy fish, try and keep them alive as much as possible. Not too bothered about that lot. They're destined for the, the snakehead and the uh, gar. Water's pushing through a little bit too hard here, so Tune's just going to lift it up once more. And if it's no better, we're going to try next to a little dam just a bit further up. Never let go. Yeah, but they're basoi, the two of them are. Look like they've sprayed everywhere around here, don't they? Mm dead zone. Oh, we're just about to move and Toon's got a few. Yeah, they Whoa. Them all, don't we? Wow. <gasps> Why don't you do it? I'm cameraman. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's so oh, that's beautiful. Right. One on a little. Still very, very fast. Not easy at all. Got a few though, I think. About four or five. Oh. I lift up. I did. <gasps> Change your tactic because the water's pushing through too hard here. No, no, push through that way. Like. Toon's just putting it at half depth. She let it go all the way to the bottom before, nearly broke it pulling it up. So, uh, We'll see. Oh, no. Well, we'll still get them. Let's have a look, see what they've been spraying. There you go. What a sorry state of affairs, eh? Wow, well, a lot of pursuing. Mm. Hey, what's that one? Look like basoi, but it's golden. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah. Wow, not seen one like that before. Excellent. Oh, that's all you need. Come on, mirror. Oh, stop. Two more mirror fish. See if we can get these a bit clearer. Fascinating fish. They look like a see through piranha. Another one there. So they don't get very big. Probably about four or five times the size of that. Well, that's all we've seen. We haven't seen them get any bigger. These three are basoi. So these will get to about, I don't know, eight or ten ounces, something like that. Again, they might get a little bit bigger, but we haven't seen them round here. What you call? Para piranhas. See through piranhas. <laughs> Three see-through piranhas and one baby garami, one apple snail. Can you imagine years ago, before the use of chemicals and electric shocking, how many fish would survive in these rice paddies? 
and what size they'd be as well. They definitely just get smaller and smaller as the years pass. Even I've noticed a difference in 15 years coming here. We used to catch them a lot bigger than we catch now. chemical that is. Oh, come out brilliant but one fish. <laughs> I get it, I get it. You should let them go. Honey. I'm gonna let it go into the snakehead yeah. tank. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye out. Oh, saw one jump in. Ah. <laughs> Two basoi, one basil. Mimosa pudica. What the fuck? Frankly, I'm disappointed. Soon I let him do it, he moves that away. He's not happy where I am. He's gone. Where's the bowl and the buckets, missus? Who <laughs> let you get fish food? Are you going to be surprised? It's going to be a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh. Looking good down here. Mm. In the full sun. Yeah, full sun. <laughs> Guy, you're going to got nothing. Or something. <laughs> Four? Oh, uh, he got... Grammy and Pagasil. Four fish. No Pasoi. I know what he tried to do. He tried to get for his snake head. Bait. Fish he kid. Well, we've done all right. Nothing big. But they're all for the lake there and they're all alive at the moment. And all these destined for the predatory fish in our holding tanks. Here would be quite good to fish with the bamboo poles and either chicken liver or pork liver on the on the hook or worms, something like that, or maybe wasp eggs. I just got tuned to stop on the bridge here just to show you the height of the local river. And this has dropped almost a metre since yesterday. And uh, the land in the background there that was all underwater all their farm work all their farmland was underwater so that is pushing through at one hell of a rate of knots it's hardly surprising that there's so much soil erosion going on on the banks of this river it's, it's uh, an awesome force of nature right we better get back get his fish in the lake oh it's hot now but still got a job to do there's old doris you go where you want, didn't you, girl? Hey, been a bit of a rehab session for you in it the last couple of weeks. We're doing all right, aren't we? But you have been eating my morning glory quite a bit, hey? Right, stroke in a minute. Busy. Two days ago, we did a a longest ever day, nine and a half hours long. It was. It's was great, and we had a, a lovely river flowing directly into the lake. And there are plenty of wild fish going in. Thankfully, they weren't going out. But you can see here, we are underwater. It's looking all scummy, mainly because we've been putting the, the cabbage and other salad remnants in here from the, uh, the guy on the market. But look, it's over the, over the sidewall in places. Right, what I thought I'd do is... Uh, Pour these out into the net and then you can have a bit of a see how many we've got. So we've got two different types of basoi, some of those see-through piranha fish uh, and a, I think a couple of little climbing perch and a couple of gung. A little glass noodle. Glass noodle you muppet. 
glass shrimp. Hey, there's one of the, the biggest see-through piranha we got. Anyone know what they're called? Let us know. I'm sure one or two of you know. But yeah, excellent that we've got these back. The regular water changes have worked. And uh, let's see if we can get a, a basoi for you. Well, they're nearly all basoi in here. But... Oh no! He's in there somewhere. Good luck, mate. There's a little climbing perch. Right, Basoi. They are beautiful fish when they get a bit bigger. Very slender, dace like fish. Brilliant. It might seem a drop in the ocean putting these into such a big expanse of water, but they grow so quick and reproduce just as quick, which is, it's just as well, otherwise they'd be extinct in Thailand. <laughs> they don't get much of a chance to uh, grow full size anymore. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to see what sort of size these native Thai fish species can get to. Because Toon and I have, well, I certainly haven't seen them full size before. Toon reckons she has, but when she was, when she was nib, you know, and uh, she used to see her dad catching stuff on the farm. So yeah, it's going to be really good to see what they can do, given a chance. You know, away from the chemicals, away from, hopefully the, the danger of the drought, although the water level will obviously drop on here, there's always going to be enough water in here for them. And uh, yeah, no chemicals and no electric shocking and netting them and things like that. I, th I think they'll, well, they've got a brilliant chance. Let's put it that way. I was out yesterday clearing all the hyacinth off the road. We were getting rafts of it pushing down here and into the lake, but some of it was getting stuck. So I've just launched a load in here. I'm not too bothered about it going everywhere for the moment. I'm gonna set up some areas with the blue pipes and then just go around collecting it up and putting them in some proper hyacinth beds with all the shelves on the island and the outside of the lake. Now it's totally submerged. You can see there's lots of debris coming up and the video camera's probably not picking it up, but underneath the surface, there's hundreds, if not thousands of baby fish just pet, pet, pecking the little bits of debris there. It won't be too long. I'm gonna put a couple of my uh, giant snakehead in here. They're, they're outgrowing the tank, so I need to, the idea was to, to thin them out as they get bigger and bigger, and hopefully just end up with two or three big ones in there, and the rest of them in here. And then once I see them spawn in and they fry on the, on the surface of the water, then I'll start, I'll start lure fishing for them. Hopefully, we don't get any really more heavy rain. The other day it rained for about five or six hours, proper heavy stuff. And uh, you can see the river, once that bursts, it all backs up and then the, the, the rainwater just can't filter off the lands quick enough and everything backs up. We were about, about 10 meters away from the house the other night. Yeah. Although as the, as you get closer to the house, the soil, is it a steeper gradient? But yeah, it was, uh, it was a little bit unnerving, but at least we've got the house well up off the floor, over a metre, and all electrical sockets outside and inside the house are all raised up as well. So if the river does burst its banks again and we get, you know, as predicted, some more heavy prolonged rain, then uh, yeah, at least we're all right. But if this ends up being underwater, the goat house is raised up, um, I think it's 1.2 meters so we might have to <laughs> we might have to use our rafts to ferry the food out to the to the goats bonkers isn't it absolutely bonkers never seen anything like this before not in all the years 15 years just over 15 years Toon said she has she has seen it this height and a little bit higher once before and that was before I met her hopefully we won't see that this could be what we've been fearing guys, this could be the downpour that 
that breaks the river and everything's just going to get backed up onto the farmland. It's, uh, it's not looking good. So Toon's in the kitchen as we speak and uh, it's, although it's only about four o'clock, we're going to eat early. It could be a long, long night, certainly if the, the lake's going to flood, in which case Go Island will flood. <laughs> Early morning here on the farm in Thailand. There's a cool breeze, which is a nice change. Light just coming up. It's about quarter past twenty past five, and we put some standing hooks out last night. See the solar light still on over there. So it catches our bugs for the fish. Uh, see the white dot there? Uh, that's Gertrude. She's moved. She's uh, took it upon herself that she likes the lake more than the orchard, so she's staying here. Whatever makes her happy, eh? It looks nice when she's swimming around the lake. She probably won't want to do that when the alligator guy are about five years old. Here we got a nib one. Come on, little fella. One for the lake. Still on? Yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh. 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 What? Oh. 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 Skinny, isn't it? Wow. What's on? Well done. Too skinny to eat or not? Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. He, he, he just think it's too skinny now. I know what he's thinking for his leg now. Up to you. Um, uh, I want to eat snakehead. It's not snakehead. This patron Yeah, quite skinny, isn't it? Yeah. You're too thin. Show near. Move near you. Move near you. That's it. Oh, be proud. I think it's been making babies, isn't it? Yeah. You see all the baby snakehead everywhere else. Right. No, but I think they just might be just thin it like it. Yeah. This isn't the one that I saw before. Alright, go and put it in the lake then. When I let the goats back, we had a couple of standing hooks out in the drainage ditch and uh, this little lad was on the hook. I would have put him in the lake, although he is easily big enough to eat. Um, you see his eye, the, the hook has uh, pierced the back of his eye, so we don't want any disabled fish in the lake. So. Uh, it's going to be in the pan tonight. Excellent. I dare say it'll be joined by a few vegetables out of the garden as well. While some of us have been busy strimming in the midday sun, take a look what someone else has been up to. Fitching! How the other half live, eh? Soon's after climbing perch, getting plenty of bites, but she's got a shark hook on there, so I might go back to the house and get another pole with line that's thinner and a smaller hook She's getting a bite of throw but just can't hook them there's one in there climbing perch don't grow that big but the the nice plump ones is it's quite a bit of fat content in them now it's a nice taste so uh i'm a bit lazy as far as bones go but uh if my missus loves me she'll fill it then won't she fit doctor Good side for curry. <laughs> Go get your hook. Come and help me cut for dinner. Now. Come and help me cut for dinner. Now. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> hey, my survival fishing float worked. Uh, I've only got a tiny little bit of pork left on the hook 
Uh, but we'll give it a go. Only in Thailand, eh? Oh! He sucked me meat. I think it's a very small one. Oh, he took it down. <laughs> oh, hook deep. I got a disgorger there. Oh, it came off. <laughs> I think my bait's too big. Oh, it's come off. That is tiny. <laughs> I don't even think it's as big as the one out of the well. Have you dinner, please? Need quite a few of them to fill you up. A lot of bubble, I think the crabs are there. Oh. <laughs> wow, that is small. Oh, I can see a baby mudfish down there. Oh, Whee! Oh. That's not it though. Fish doctor! Look at that, poaching my swim. Outrageous. You swim that way, thank you. Don't blah de blah. If you're good fishing, it's not so matter where you are, look. I've got no bite now, you'd move next to me. Oh. Bad loser. How many you got now? Two? Five. Yeah, right. Got two out of the well. So how can be five then? One got three here, here, got three. You got two, haven't you? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got five. And you caught two. No, yeah, I got three. Ah, what you got? Baby meow. Oh dear, that don't count, does it? Oh, but good, wa? Meow, isn't it? Tail. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, what's that? Some more. Oh, yeah. Big doctor. That not count. That mean I win. I got different fish. Well, this one's too small for the pan. And it was hooked in the lip, so we'll put him back in the, in the lake. Beautiful little fish. Very spiky on the gill plate. Can stry properly. Oh, oh hey, you got my favourite. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Some sort of barb with the red fins and the black spot. Get close up for the camera for that. Turn it around a bit. Oh, oh don't hurt it. Wow. Oh, I'll be putting it in the lake there. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. So, by the cow or by the pian? By the cow. Put about 50 of these in the last month. Hopefully, they'll find each other when they're older and make more. They're beautiful. <laughs>